I can't keep doing this, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna get a shot glass. Oh my, what? <laughs> All right, we don't need to do a therapy session. Okay, let's chill. Bum, bum, da 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 bum, bum, da. Hey guys! Howdy! What's up and welcome back or to The Roomies Digest. My name's Christine. I'm Monique. And if you clicked on this video, you know that today we're going to be talking about our mid-year freak out tag. Yes, because how was it the end of July? How is it past the mid-year? Okay, this video might be a little bit late, but in true Roomies Digest fashion, we're here with um, a fun little twist to the game. I mean, the video. Sorry. What are we doing? Okay. <clears throat> so, as you all know, mid-year freakout is where you have a list of questions and you answer those questions. But since we are a bookish duo, mm -hmm. we thought it'd be fun. Who's we? Just kidding. <laughs> what? Just tell me what's going on. Just kept things we in the dark. We thought it would be fun to try and guess each other's answers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did talk about that. And if you get it wrong, this is the part I don't know, okay? I will be taking a shot of soju. We have multiple bottles. This isn't the only one because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get every answer wrong. And if... Do you work tomorrow? I do. Okay. And if Monique gets it wrong, well, by golly, she's going to be eating warheads, baby. <laughs> no, I am not. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. I'd rather have the show with you. I told you guys that I would get you the warheads for Monique. And not only did I get warheads, but I got extreme sour warheads, which are my favorite. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Woo. Now I think, <laughs> she, she really wants to strangle me with this hand. <laughs> it's gripping me like, hard now i think there is a a a what some could call a hack to this maybe perhaps a cheat code if you will i think i want to be nice and give monique the option of taking per wrong answer two shots of soju or one extreme sour warhead <laughs> yeah this is so to be it's fair. My final offer, baby. Sunday fun day. Now, all of the questions obviously are not going to be like super guessable. It's just going to be the ones where we have the bookish answers. So, for example, channel goals, we won't be playing this game for that question, okay? Because that's a broad generalization we probably both will lose trying to guess each other's. But, you know, favorite book of the year. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. <laughs> so the original creators of this video are gonna be linked down below if you guys wanna check out their original videos. You can do that, but this video idea, this concept has been around since like 2016 or 2017. So it's nothing new. You've seen Mid-Year Freak Out before, but there are a ton of creators who have put their own twist on it. And since we're the last of the last to put ours out there we had the opportunity to view other people's videos and pick and choose which questions we would like and also add our own twist so as we go through these questions and have the ideas from the other creators we will be mentioning them obviously in the video but i do want to say that everyone is going to be linked down below you can check out those videos check out those channels and um you know have a good time with those creators if you go down into the description of this video <clears throat> got my handy dandy ipad okay question number one best book you've read in 2023 i feel like this is the hardest one to answer what are you guessing my eyes are so crazy right now i'm just like <laughs> the best book you've read in 2023 best book i've read in 2023 well, how are you judging it exactly because i don't think i've read the best book but so far this is the best book i've read so far is which but that caveat. right that's why it's the mid-year freak out yeah but you know the question the next question made it more anyway so like how did you think about it like what, what was you want me to walk space? you through? I just need to know where, what your headspace is like so I, I can make a, you a good guess. Really think about it. 
I think you can get it right. Me too. Okay. So my answer is fourth wing. I'm so sorry, but you're going to have to take one of these. I had a feeling. Immediately. <laughs> and then like, I did mine based off the Kopile method. I knew you had some science, and that's why I asked you. Didn't I ask everyone? Then why didn't you do it that way? Because you made it seem like it was too much of a thing to say the I word Kopile method. I didn't. My favorite book of 2023. So far. Has been Velocity Weapon. Velocity Weapon and Silver Under Nightfall. Yeah, 9.27. Well, I won't open. It's, Darn. it's, they're both. Darn, it's not openable. You're getting off my nerves. They're not openable. <laughs> So, Velocity Weapon and Silver Under Nightfall both got 9.27 out of 10 on the Kopal method. They also are both recommendations from my Battle of the Book series, which I've been having such a good time with this year. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I think yours is going to be yours truly. Wrong. Okay, what is it? Part of your world. You liked part of your world more than yours truly after you just said yesterday that you liked yours truly more than part of your world? Yeah, I used the call pal method. Are you for real? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't you dare hide your face. <laughs> Do not hide your face. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll take a shot, even though I don't believe you. You have this written down somewhere? Oh. Bible? <laughs> Is it? Let me see. Okay, I'll permit it, even though I still don't believe it, but whatever. All right. Cheers, baby. This is gonna be a chaotic video, I can already tell. <laughs> Question number two. The best sequel you've read so far in 2023. I think this one's actually very hard at least for you to guess for me because I haven't read that many sequels. So I didn't think that we should do the guessing one on this one, but it's up to you. We Let's can guess. if you want. I'm down. Um, okay. Then for you, I would say part of your world. How, why would you say that? I mean, not part of your world. Yours truly. You're right. Wow. I've taken one shot. And, and I want to say that I was know. nice in that moment because I could have nice said you was moment? wrong because you said the wrong title. So I want you to remember that kindness later on in this video. You are so funny. Why? I need to take- Because <laughs> I said the wrong title. You are so petty getting so mad over this thing. <laughs> I need to take what I can when I can. I'm so- I'm cracking up that you're genuinely upset right now because you have to take that word. This is still my mouth. <laughs> What's your guess? I have no idea. You read so many fantasy books. Maybe something in the Broken Earth trilogy? No, I haven't actually read the sequel in the Broken Earth I didn't, trilogy. That wasn't my guess. I've only read like three sequels this year. That's why this Can is so hard. Can you just name the series for me? Yeah, so The Beasts of Prey, Serpent and the Wings of Night, and then A Soul to Keep. Those are the three. The three first books. And okay, then A Soul to Keep. Actually, no. The answer, my favorite of those three Serpent is... Serpent of the Wings of Yeah, it's, it's The Ashes and The Star Cursed mm. King, I believe, is the name of that title. But yeah, but all th two of those... Or two Did of I those. Do the bat... Oh, who's handing the bag? You don't have to take one for that. I was saying you don't have to. Unless you're just going to do it just to do it. It's the rules. Oh, okay. Anyway, these sequels were kind of mediocre to me. Not mediocre. Like, I liked them. They were fine. But, like, I wouldn't say, like, as a second book lover, because I genuinely love second books in series. Some of my favorites being, like, from the Red Rising trilogy, um, from the Devabad trilogy, things like that. I just, I don't think any of these were, like, truly, like, my favorites or will be my favorite sequels of the year. But of the three that I've read, that is my favorite. Okay. Anyway, question number three. A new release you haven't read yet but want to i have no idea what this could be for you and for the longest time i didn't know what it would be for me either so let's just talk it out let's talk it up and not be too rash 
Is it on your shelf now, currently? Let me see what I even put. Oh! Oh, wow, you're never gonna get this. The answer is no. It's not on the shelf currently. And it just came out. It's fantasy. It is fantasy. And you know what? I'll do you a solid favor. Is it by Holly Black? I'll tell you the author's name. The author's name is M.L. Wang. They wrote Sword of Kaigen. Oh, okay. The sequel to that. It's not the sequel to that. The third one. It's not the sequel or anything to do with Sword of Kaigen. Did you I talk about it recently? No. That's why I don't think you're going to know it. Not even in a sprint? No. Not at all. M.L. Wang wrote a book. Yeah. And you want to read it. You're regurgitating information. Yeah. yeah. And you want to read that book and it's called... And it's about... um. A fantasy book about it is fantasy YA fantasy no great it's an adult <clears throat> fantasy book saying what it's about isn't going to give you the title though it's about it's a red cover okay it's about alchemy no you don't own the book um is a sword involved i'm sure there is i haven't read the book an though. axe i don't think so okay. weirdly enough book of i'm just gonna say the title blood the blood Blood is the first word. <laughs> the title is Blood Mercy. Blood Blood Moon. You lost it. Blood. Just take another warhead. It's Blood Over Bright Haven. Okay, this is Emma Wayne's new fantasy. You don't really you don't have to, don't do that one. That one's the heart. That one's really the cra you see how there's one of those in this pile? Do you see what I'm saying? Don't do that to yourself. Do it when you really deserve it. You don't deserve it for this one. This is the new title by M.L. Wang. You guys know, sort of Kaigen. Why are you doing this? I'm supposed to take a shot because I didn't get yours? It's for the number two. I'm, I'm a question behind. Oh, okay. Anyway, wow, you're going to put four of those in your mouth if you keep going that slow. I'm telling you, this is the easiest one, the lemon. Well, I hope so. glad I bought this at Party City let me tell you Woo! oh shoot okay you spit it out <laughs> <laughs> why did you lie to me like this I thought yellow is the best it's mm. called lemon I knew it wasn't right maybe that's because I like lemon though I like sour stuff like I'm thinking about maybe just having one of these just for fun go ahead Blue. It's like your golem. <laughs> it's so awful. <laughs> I'm not no chump. I'm not no chump. Just stick it in there and close your mouth and don't open it and get it over with. Once you get the sour stuff off, it's good. <laughs> Wait, turn it to the side and do it, please, so they can see. No! <laughs> they can see the way she This one, right? Let's really be real. This is really what they want. <laughs> Not the bargaining. Okay, okay. One more try. Just stick it in there. I did. You, you said you were to jump. Capital P. <laughs> <laughs> Let them see your face now. <laughs> Just keep going. Okay. <laughs> Question number four. Mo Wait, what was your most, what was your release you haven't read yet but want to? Hold on, we didn't even do that. Yeah, I'm getting. What is it? No, why, you, you're just like, you're gonna use a manipulation. You're gonna guess mine, like I guess yours. I told you I didn't have any idea. I said that at the beginning. So you're gonna drink regardless? I mean, sure. I said we shouldn't guess on this one because if we do, you have to do another Warhead. I do. I have, you said that was for number two. I'm on three. I'm, I have, I'm, I'm a question behind. Oh, okay. All right. I really don't know what a new release 
What new on the release? shelf behind me. It is? What new release? Oh, release you haven't read yet but want to? Oh, wow, that could be literally anything you own. It is book of the month. New release? Mm -hmm. You haven't read yet? Mm -hmm. But want to? Yes, it's right behind me. That one. Karen Slaughter? Lone Woman. Women. Oh, Lone Women by Victor Laval. Mm -hmm. Laval. Laval. I really want to read that. All right, I'll take a shot. <laughs> I'm going to need more soju. No, you're not. Yep. I'm being nice because alcohol is a little more detrimental. <sighs> Ooh, like candy. All right, number four. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I feel like these first four questions are what effed us up because <laughs> I was like, why are they going to do the hardest questions to begin with? I lost my phone in the fire. Yeah, you threw it. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. All right, so. Oh, ooh, this one. I think you can get this one for me. Same. Most anticipated. Oh, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Uh, you can go first. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year for you? She's an aisle buy. Um, I mean, that would be Emily Henry for you. That would be. Mm, can I have another hint? Romance. Romance. Okay. Is it adult romance? She writes adult romance. So this isn't an adult romance. This is a YA romance? Yeah. Is Talia Hibbert doing another one? No. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. This is an auto buy. As in you bought this author recently? Or this is her first release of the year? Recently. Like how recent? Pretty recent. Like book of the month recent? Maybe. What is that book called? I thought that book already came out. The one with the chess pieces? Did it? No. I thought it didn't come out yet. Not out yet. It's, I know what it looks like. I just don't remember the name. Do you it's, know who wrote it? Um, yes, it's Allie Hazelwood, I think. You're right. It's like a pink book and it's got a white lady with blonde hair and it's got a guy with dark hair and they're on a chessboard. Yep, she's pretty much right. It's checkers. Check and mate. Checker and mate. Why did I say checkers? I don't know. That was not right. So do I get that point? Yeah, that's what I'm getting to. Great. But you see how I lead you to the right answer? Oh, okay, so you want to play that way? It would be nice. <laughs> okay, all right. Hold on. <laughs> Gotta catch up. I've never had these ones. I'll do this one with you. No, I think you should have a lemon. It's your favorite. Save the good ones for I later. I open this one here. You can take it. I have one in my hand. Are we doing it together? You didn't put it in your mouth. You'd be screaming if you did. All right, mine is also a romance. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> this is horrible. Not my gumdrop buttons. I feel like I'm in blue lock right now. And I'm just going to evolve into a better, better person. Yeah. I'm going to be able to handle any sour foods. That I think so, yeah. You mean candies? If we're eating sour foods, we need to get out of that restaurant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so mine is a romance author as well. One of my favorites. What's the question? New, most anticipated new release for the second half of the year. Okay. I've talked about this book. Oh yeah, Chloe Lee's. Mm -hmm. It's um... Remember Taming of the Shrew? Yeah. And, uh, I know what the cover looks like. It should be the same thing I did for you just What's now. What's the cover look like? Describe it. It's just got kind of like a yellow orange mm -hmm. in there, mm -hmm. brown hair. Yeah. And um, Chloe Lee wrote it. Yeah. And if you give me any more about it, like, I'll be able to. Tell me the truth. Better. It's the first word. Oh, better. <laughs> oh my God. 
call Saul. No, that's a TV show. <laughs> better. I'll just look. Can I, can I use my own resources? It's Better Hate Than Never. Better Hate Than Never by Chloe Lee's. It was the second book in her Beaumont sisters, I think, trilogy. Hate to love between two childhood rivals slash, you know, family friends. It's Very gonna be good. Very cute. It's gonna be good. That counted, right? Yeah. Great. All right, number five. Biggest disappointment. This one. I did not have romance. Same. Mine was a romance as well. Mm -hmm. Mine was sapphic. Mine was not. Okay. Well, so we're gonna go from there. Um, sapphic. Oh. Yeah, there's only a handful of sapphic romances I've read, so I feel like this is easy for you. Set in San Francisco. Love and other drugs. No. Love and other words was one of my favorite romances of this year. But good try. I thought it was like disasters. Oh, I didn't read that this year. That was last year. Oh. Oops. Um. You must have not even talked about it with me because you just said no, nope, not for me. I do enough to hardcore. I was so excited. It was one of my anticipated books of the year. The cover has, I believe, pomegranates on the front surrounding it. It's a Greek retelling. No. These two girls living in San Francisco. One of them is Armenian and the other one. Oh, I'm not gonna remember the name. I'm sorry, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's Sorry Bro. Yes. By Talene Vis Viscani, I think. Viscani. Mm -hmm. Viscani. I was so into this book and I got to 50% and then they started getting, uh, they started getting, you know. Spicy. Spicy. And I just wasn't into the relationship. Like they, could not sell it for me. I don't mm. know. They just, I feel like they had nothing really going for them. You that's, know what I mean? That's sad to hear. I, it is sad because I was so excited for this book. And I think like it's a great representation of like Armenian culture. Mm. But the execution of the book, I did not like. So I DNF'd it. And I never talked about it again. And that was my biggest disappointment. What about you? Mine was also a romance. Okay. Okay. I really liked another book by this author. Okay. But this one was boring. I didn't finish it. I didn't get too far, so maybe I just wasn't in the right headspace. But I gave it like two different tries. Chloe Lee's? No. I okay. didn't read her this year. Okay. Mm hmm. Book by this author in the same series? You can guess the author I'll give it to. I own one of her books. It didn't come out this year. The book you read? Beth O'Leary? Yeah. What? Oh my God, that's crazy. It's because I talk to you about things. All right, we don't need to do a therapy session. Okay, let's chill. What is it, the road trip? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, wow, that's psycho. Mm -hmm. All right, next question. Biggest surprise, question number six. Biggest oh, surprise. Oh, you have this in the bag. I do? Yeah. I don't know if we haven't been paying attention to each other this year, but I'm not sure if I have this in the bag. Maybe I'll give you the clue. Biggest surprise? What's the clue? Romance. <laughs> Who am I? A soul to keep. Yes. Wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, I'm really trying not to take shots. You know what I mean? Whoo, okay. Okay, a soul to keep. And why was that your biggest surprise? This is a monster romance about monsters. It honestly was a surprise to me. Like I like monster romances though, but I that one was a good one. That yeah. was a good one. That one definitely comes up later in my my list. Well, for me, biggest surprise. I don't know if you've even heard of this book. This book I read for Battle of the Books this past month. Okay. So I haven't talked about it on the internet at all. Mm -hmm. And it is reminiscent of like Narnia, where kids go through doors. I'll even give you the author if you can guess the name. Sure. Seanan McGuire. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I guess we'll do Apple. <laughs> <laughs> it's Every Heart a Doorway. Every Heart a Doorway. This is like a cozy fantasy, a huge series that follows these kids who have these magical doorways that just appear. And as they go through the doorways, they go to a whole nother world, a whole nother <clears throat> fantasy world, and they go on these adventures. It's it's almost like a dark version of Narnia. Here we go. Well, we don't have to pay attention to dark version of Narnia. <laughs> and it pleasantly surprised me. I really loved the audiobook and thought it was a really great time. Very good recommendation. Are you putting it in your shirt or? No, it's you have to put it in your mouth. You're on camera. Yeah. 
eating trash because I know that that's not in your mouth. It's right there. I can see it in your hand. You have to put it in your mouth. <laughs> okay, number seven, favorite new author. I can't keep doing this, y'all. I'm gonna get a shot glass. Mine is a sci-fi author. Ooh. <laughs> it's the person who wrote a long, small, angry... Not a new author. What do you mean a new author? To you or to... Someone I've never read. You read a, Who wrote that book? Who wrote that book? What book? A Small Way to a Long... Becky Chambers. Oh. Okay. Think with your brain. I can't. It's just all sour everything. <laughs> Everything's sour. I really like this book. Pierce Brown. No. And you really liked it. Rebecca Yaros. So. I said sci-fi. Okay, sci-fi. Well, what's the title? Velocity Weapon. Oh. By Megan O'Keefe. Yes. I love this book. I realized it was your favorite book of the year. I talked about it uh, all throughout the sci-fi battle of the books. It was a really great time and I can't wait to continue. Just okay. a fun sci-fi action pack. Also, plot was great. Characters are great. This is the book you told me that I would, might like. Yes. Megan O'Keefe. Yes. It's all coming back to me now. Yes. It's like my brain's it's on a so reset. I don't think I should keep eating sour candy. If I keep taking shots, it's going to be a fun time. You keep getting the right answer, so it doesn't seem possible. All right. You should get okay, this so one. Okay, so your new author? Yeah. Abby Jimenez. Correct. Woo! Yes. Number eight. Newest fictional obsession, crush or otherwise? I feel like we have the same one. Yours is Charlie Lastra. Mm -hmm. Mine is... Not Charlie Lastra. It's not, but I think you can get it. You might not get his name, but you can get the book for sure. It's a fun time. I've read this book? No, then but I want I, you to read this book. Then how will I get it? Because I've talked about it a lot. It's not a romance? I would say it's a romance, but also a fantasy. So it's the fourth wing? Yes! <laughs> I don't it know is. anybody from that book. And that's why I say you wouldn't get his name until um, you get the book. Okay. You are truly not listening right now, I'm are really you? struggling. You're you really all. Get it together. <laughs> that is really... Get it together. I still just to use my mouth muscles. Fourth Wing is um, about dragons and... You guys know a character. Let me set the scene. You know a character named Zaynum. Okay. Dark, broody, tattoos, has a bad past, couple scars you know, is a little mean sometimes, but he's there for his girl. Mm -hmm. And that's what truly matters. That is my new slash current obsession. Okay. Okay. And this turned into an ASMR moment. So you did. So thank you. Thank you for that. You want to read question number nine? Number nine. Book that made you happy. Love theoretically. Yes. Wow. You did come out and scream about love theoretically. Yeah, I've been talking about it since Oppenheimer. <laughs> For the past week and a half. I think you can get this one if you really think about my true loves in this world and what books I read. Pirates and fantasy books and Shannon Chakabardi. Yeah. And she the wrote book. the Al Minfarini. Al Amalf. Not Al Mafi Ghosts of Italy. <laughs> Al um, <laughs> Where's the book it? Just point to the adventures of Amina Yeah, the adventures of Amina Al Sharafi. Sharafi. That's what I said. The the book with the pirates by Shayna Chuckaborty. That's right. Question number nine. So you don't have to do anything. Look at you. Winning. Okay, what's number two? The most beautiful book you've bought so far this year. I don't know what your answer is mine is literally sitting right there mine's behind me should we go grab them and just show them sure so we're not guessing my answer is stolen air yeah by holly black <laughs> oh mine is the stolen air by holly black because i got this special edition copy and it is the most beautiful book that i've ever seen in my entire life not only is the front cover amazing, but on the inside, we've got beautiful character art. Beautiful character art. What are you, what are you trying, what are you trying to push my book out of the way? My freak? was blood marked. 
Make also, it's downs. signed with a little note, which I love. It's very lovely. It's my favorite thing. What are you doing? I don't have to finish this one. You're gonna finish that one? I don't have to. It's up to you. <laughs> this one I don't think we should guess either because this one is like a list. What books do you need to read by the end of this year? Hellbent. Hellbent? That's a good one. Is it just that one? Yeah. Because you know in true Christine fashion I have a whole entire list. Yours is Lightbringer. Lightbringer. Looking Glass Sound by Katriona Ward. Longing of Lone Wolves, which is a KU uh, recommendation. God Killer. <clears throat> What's that? Exactly. What is that? We all need to read it. God Killer, Sea of Ruin, and then this manga called Thousand Autumns is a male male romance. Ooh. Yeah, based in, in Chinese lore. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's I like that. It's going to be a fun time. I'm really excited. So that, that's that been on my T-bar for a while, but of course I've been stuck on this broke bitches book buying ban bingo board for what feels like six months. I swear to you, I haven't bought a book in so long. I mean, I bought one book recently because I did get one bingo. <sighs> anyway, so that's it. Focus. That's yeah, we just gotta stay focused. All right, number 12. Number 12. Haunting creators you've been loving recently. Anyone you wanna shout out? Yeah, don't look at my answers. Are we supposed to guess <clears> them? <throat> no, I was just saying the answers to my other questions because oh. I put mine down at the bottom. So mine, the ones that I want to shout out for this are the content creators that like I've just been loving their recommendations for Battle of the Books. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna like shout them out really quick. And also like content creators who consistently give good recs that like we both enjoy. Like Catherine from Catherine Zofre, Elizabeth from Museum Grack Reads, Mitchell uh, from Mitchell Reads on TikTok. Cammy from Burroughs and Books, Joanna from Joe's Journal, uh, Jess from Books Past Bedtime, Darian from Darian Reads, Nicole from Bonbon bon Reads, Katie from Katie's All Booked, and then Aquarius Reads on Instagram. And then there are three creators who are consistently always, you know, putting out great content that you should just definitely watch. They also happen to be our friends. <laughs> so Noelle from Noelle Seven Pages, um, Sydney from Sid Bookworm, and Stephanie from Stephanie Bookish. Yes. Then I have one more to highlight. It is Self by B. Self by B? Yes. Okay. Um, they're a non-binary creator. Um, they have a lot of great book recs and they talk about K-pop occasionally. So Nice. Love I like they're on that. TikTok. They're on TikTok. Okay, cool. I think also just like us being in our Discord and like having that, we do get a lot of recommendations from people who are bookish but don't necessarily create bookish content. Yeah, or, they, or they do, but it's not like in a like mass content kind of way you know what i mean yeah so yeah we have a lot of good recommendations from like the kids in there and and we have a good time yeah in discord so yeah question number 13 favorite video you have filmed so far are you guessing or not oh are we guessing do we want to guess okay i can just say mine i don't care yeah let's just say it i really love the um k drama book rec video that came out this year mm -hmm. how a lot of fun um Thinking about like you know the themes from the show, how they carry over to a certain book, mm -hmm. and I had a blast. And I would, I would like to make more of those. Well, I was originally gonna say it was like themed vlogs, uh, but then I got more specific and I said the battle of the books, where like I went to New York. That has been something that, was that a good one. yeah, like some something that I've been doing for battle of the books is like I'll have like one thing that we do together in the vlog, and like that thing that month was obviously going to New York and visiting a bunch of bookish people. But I think like the, we'll get into this question later. But like there are some other things that we have planned for the rest of the year that like I'm really excited for, and I think the bottom line is like themed vlogs or like themed recommendation videos. Those are always really fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, games are always fun too. But yeah, you know, number fourteen. John, what you've been reading the most? Just say it romance fantasy yeah how is your reading going according to you i think i've just been kind of reaching for the easy reads you mm -hmm. know nothing too heavy mm -hmm. i feel like anytime i try to pick up something that requires any like actual computing i get tired and i put it down so yeah that's why i thought like reading a lot more romance not as much sci-fi as we wanted to definitely pushing through my fantasy american gods Fable, over the vlog you know yeah i think that's do you think that has anything to do with like what's going on in your life probably a lot going on but you know sometimes you just need to take a mental 
load off. I feel like romances, mangas, Mm -hmm. they're good to try and not get you too stuck into a slump, you know? Yeah. That's how I feel at least. And like focus. Mm -hmm. For me, how's my reading going? I think that I've read far less than I did last year. Um, But the quality of these books has been like exponentially greater. I think last year I read a lot of three stars, 3.5s, and I was just complaining. I was like, oh, why am I reading all these like mediocre books? But this year, not only am I reading good books, but I'm also reading books recommended by all these different creators. And I think that has really just made the quality of my reading really good. Now, do I wish I was reading more? Obviously, I think we all want to be doing that. But, you know, I think I feel pretty good about where I am. I do want to be creating more content, but, you know, we only have so many hours in the day, like Monique said. So it's like we got to pick and choose. Yeah. A video that you thought would flop but did well. Immediately when I saw this question, my thought was um, guest room bathroom. Oh, actually, yeah. That That's I think good. that is the video of the year for us. Yeah, <laughs> about and, that. About that. Yeah. Because it's been such a long time. And it's a literal reel that we made uh, on TikTok first, then put it on Instagram, then put it on YouTube. Yeah, it's a Bo Burnham song clip. Yep. And it just took off. I mean, one minute, you know, we only had like. We had under 10,000 subscribers and now we're at close to 60. So that's crazy. Yeah. Never. I forgot about that. In a million that's years. That's a good answer. That's, I, I will take that as That's her. the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's I the one. I co-sign that. <laughs> yeah. Any upcoming videos you're excited to make? Yes. Similar to the K-drama one, I'm making a Spotify rec video. Oh man, that's like literally perfect for you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I've got like a list going. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. Yep. I I think um, for me, uh, videos, upcoming videos that I'm excited to make, I am going to be doing like a wrap up for the Battle of the Books where we like do a deep dive into like the best books of this whole entire thing and kind of like what genres were the best to me, you know, that kind of a thing. What what the best book based on their Kapow rating is um, of the year. I think that is exciting to me because I like to see just kind of like the numbers and things like that. Any channel goals before the end of the year? It's question number 18. Just make more content. Yeah. I think that's also mine as well. Yeah. Like getting back into posting consistently. Just kind of keep having fun on booktube. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's lots of... Mm, There you go. Same. I know. We've lost our gusto. I did fall asleep. That's okay. We're going to get, we're going to get this, we're going to get things. All right. So 18. So 18. I was just, I just want to finish this thought. That's what it was. I was literally in the middle of a sentence. (laughs) My thought was just to stay having fun on booktube. Oh yeah. Right. Because I feel like this year we haven't produced as much content on YouTube, but we have had a lot of fun still doing what we do. And we might not both collectively be reading as much as we have in the past, but we're still enjoying it. So yeah. Yeah. And there's things outside of booktube that we want to do you know what i mean anyway yeah. that's all i wanted to say number 19 book you think deserves more hype velocity weapon correct great then you can also get mine a soul to keep no hmm. one more try yours truly yeah wow i was holding my breath yeah she even though you got breath. three guesses number 20 favorite kindle unlimited read <laughs> this one is fun this one is fun. Mine was a recommendation. A recommendation? Yeah, it should get you there. Somebody gave you a recommendation for this? Yeah, I read it. I have literally no idea. Talk about it all the time. You do? You love this book? Love is a strong word. Okay. It was, what was the, what's the question? A fave? Yeah, your favorite Kindle Unlimited read of the year. Yeah, I'll give that. It was a recommendation. The Ritual? No. Did not get this right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this for myself. Get in my swamp. <laughs> I wanted it to be right when you swallowed. Just for that. <laughs> Get in my swamp. Yeah. Swamp, 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 swamp. A quick, short. That's so reach. funny. Where's my phone? I can't even record him. It's too late now. That was so funny. He's going to keep doing it. Anyway, all right, let's just continue talking and then we'll get to it. Anyway, um, get in my swamp. I never would have, I never would have thought. Mm-hmm. 
that that was me mm -hmm. um that that was you really do you know what mine is have you talked about this video yeah yeah i have and it's not the horse girl series it's not Sherman. Oh my god. <laughs> His arms. Reach. Get it. make out anyway I can't continue this um yeah I've talked about it I've talked about it you got this. you talked about it in this video mm -hmm. today yes Kindle Unlimited mm-hmm so Dust Walker yeah wow literally a Dust Walker surprise okay yeah nice because I think it was the most surprising for me okay I didn't know I was gonna like it as much as I did and the world was so new because I never read about dust walkers before. Same. Right? Okay. Yeah. And that's that. All right, next. Favorite book adaption from this year. Yeah, this one technically hasn't come out yet. It's coming out this month for me. This month? In oh, August. so Red, Bright, and Royal Blue. Yes. Okay, okay. Mine, I, I just talked about this show recently. It's one of the things I asked. Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. Wow. So okay well, so we're doing well we're doing great we know each other yeah i was afraid you know we haven't spent a lot of camera time together <laughs> this year so i i thought we would be disconnected like we lost our spark but it seems like we're fine why would that happen we're friends roommate some would say yeah we're roommates we're not friends all right what's the next one <laughs> oh favorite audiobook mine has a caveat so Ooh, mine does too okay great guess then mine is i'm, I'm currently reading it right now oh so it's the same answer as mine then babel yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say my comment about this is <laughs> rf kwong's books are always good on audio yeah. they're always good on audio i've been telling y'all yeah i read the entire poppy war trilogy on audio and it's i did the read them physically too make a whole nother part of the well, there weren't annotations in the poppy war but in babel yes those are great because they read you babel babel excuse me i'm uncultured they read you the little cliff notes and then it makes you understand the story plus i think it's so much easier to learn this information because it really is academic mm -hmm. it's so much easier to learn this information look at what my thing was doing what the what the heck i'm really enjoying this book same all right if you could unread a book what would it be? I feel like we might agree. I don't know. No, we don't agree on this one. I don't think you've read the one that I would say. Then never mind. Well, we've read the one I read. Was it classic literature? Mm. If we could unread a book that we finished in classic literature. Okay, don't put finished. Okay, Actually, so no, I, fin finish I did finish it. Was it torn? Yeah. Okay. Now mine, I ranted about it. It is by an author who people love. And I was recommended this book in our Discord for a Kindle unlimited reading vlog. And then I proceeded to read one of her books for Battle of the Books for the romance, romance themed one. She's a black author. That oh, helps. Kennedy Ryan. Right, but what was the book? I won't be able to guess the title of that book. It's The Long Shot. Okay, yes. I, if I could unread one book this year, it would be that one. And that's wow. just, I'm just not a big fan of sexual assault. Yeah. And like being trapped in a marriage where also that happens. a nightmare. And you can't get away. You're just being abused all the time. And I know. I know people love her. Okay. I know they love that book. But I do not. And that's all I've got to say about that. What is your most anticipated sequel and standalone for the remaining year? Okay. This I missed the standalone part. So I do not have an answer. I was going to say. So the standalone part, I actually don't have an answer for because I have no idea. Mm -hmm. My my thing was going to be to volley it back to you all and to give me a standalone recommendation my gosh sherman is just acting crazy over there sequel though i think you can get this one i think you can get this one okay 
Let me set the scene for you. Iron gold. Okay. No, iron blood. Okay. Iron. iron. You didn't even need help. I know where you're going. Come on. What do they do? What do they breathe? Air. Fire. Another word for fire. Come on. Flame. There we go. Iron flame. flame. Sir. Which is the sequel to... Fourth wing. That's right. Look at her. <laughs> Bravo. That's great. Now, you... Your, my answer is pretty easy because I already own them both. Oh, um, the F1 series. The sequel is called, you just had that one. Damn. That's the wrong answer. Oh, that's the wrong answer? You can drink. What is it? <laughs> Hell Pit and Black Mark, you dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I've written those books off so hard like I have literally said in my brain you won't read those books this year so you should just flip flop and make it so that you do because that I am that truly took them. me by surprise I just don't want to read them quick took me by surprise I'm gonna have a shot meter <laughs> that's just gonna tell you guys how many words you've had and how many shots I've had I think I'm losing <laughs> I can't believe you're like ah the F1 one I'm like if you see my face I'm like what <laughs> Clearly, it's because you recently talked about it, and you were like, "Yeah, I need to read this book." Ooh, I forgot about this. Blah blah. blah. And I was like, yeah, "Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. yeah, yeah, that's the one." <laughs> what is a series you haven't started but are dying to start reading? I'll go ahead and open my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Do the red one. Do the red one. Okay. The red one, as you guys will all remember, is the black cherry warhead. Mm, it's a good flavor. Ew. Uh uh. I won't Honey, you've got to. I'm already feeling it. We have two questions left. Uh -uh. You've got to do it because you're not going to get it's the next gray one. It's gray looking. It's gray. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see how crazy that one looks? I can already taste it. It's fine. Tasting it. Just do it, Mo. Do it for the gram. But I didn't even get a chance to guess what if I get it right. Okay. 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 I will give that to you. If you can guess what my most anticipated series that I haven't started this year mm -hmm. is... Yeah, I can. I okay. can. You're not gonna give me anything. I, this is why you don't play fair. If you look back at this, I'll give it to you. I'll give you. I'll give you a couple something. things. Give me a little something. The character is blonde. The cover is red. I've read this author before. You own the book. I do. You talked about it yesterday. Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, you talked about it yesterday. It should be really easy now. Yeah, and it's not the Scarlet Alchemist. It's not, and I know you want that to be an answer so badly. That's <laughs> what I remember. It's red with blonde it's hair. Because that's the one that you wanted to read. It's red with blonde hair. Yeah, gave you a lot, right there. A lot more. It's a fantasy. Obviously, who do you think I am? Come on. And you held the book up. Yeah. In your hand. Yeah. For Fantasy Over Everything yes. by John Quinn. No. But the one after that. What is it? It's red just like that candy. <laughs> you gotta give me one <laughs> hint. Now, I gave you so many hints. Did you? Did you give me a lot of hints for the last one go, that I had to take a shot for? I have for? to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. You're never gonna find that book. <laughs> okay. She's running, running to my room to try and find the book. I'm not sure if she's going to find it. She is lucky that I did just redo the TBR card. So it should be fairly easy if she uses her brain. Oh. It might be confusing to her though, because there is another series in there. It's the Umbrella Academy. That is also a red cover that I talked about yesterday. If she doesn't get this one after looking literally through all the books. <laughs> Doctor of no words. What's the series name? Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> is it? You didn't. What is a series you haven't started but are dying to start reading? And that's how you win a court case, everyone. Take it away. Go ahead. <laughs> Hopefully before the battery runs out, let's go. Let's go. Ah! Come on.
put it on your tongue. Mm -hmm. It's not on your tongue because mm -hmm. you would be in pain. This mm -hmm. is the worst one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's not even on your tongue. I know it. Yeah. It's not. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. I'm okay. Let me see it on your tongue. I'm eating it. Go ahead. I'm okay. So she may be a sour candy eater yet. I don't think I feel anything in my tongue anymore. <laughs> not really was probably the time. Not the last dab for freaking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. okay, so now I've got to guess yours. A series you're excited to start? Mm -hmm. I have no idea, really. A sci-fi, and you've read the author before, and that on the first book. Um, it's not Becky Chambers, is it? I do. A Long Way to a Small and Great Planet, that one? Actually, I would like to read that, but no, that's not To be taught a fortunate? I've read that. Uh, Prayer of the Crown Given, whatever. No. The Crown Ones. It's a series name. You gotta say the series name. You can't say the title. So, but it is that series, the one with the monk, is it? What's the series called? I, now you went out into my room and looked at the book yourself. You're really gonna be like this. You're not I, gonna tell me I'm, that that's what the book is. I'm sorry that you didn't happen to look not and what see the book what is, the series was but called. But you got a book in the series, but the series is called something else. Okay. Monks. And what? Is it? Yeah. It's really called Monks? Monk and? Monk and Robot. Yes. Wow! What? Sorry, I was shocked. You should be shocked because I'm like... giving you every answer. Excuse me, I gave you so many hints on the last one. No, you didn't. It's not my fault that you don't pay attention. And you went to go look at the book. I got the title of the book. You didn't need to get the title of the whatever book series. I'll take a shot, fine. No, question number 26, your favorites so far per genre? I haven't read a fantasy book this year. Oh, yes I have. Yeah, you have. What have been your favorites? Fantasy romance, you already know. Dark. I mean, Dust Walker, Brian. Yeah. I think that was yours, right? I think mine, fantasy romance that I've loved this year, Blood of Mercy. Yeah. Yeah. A fantasy in general. I mean, Al Sarafi. Okay. I have enjoyed Babel. I enjoy American Gods, actually. American I haven't finished Gods? either of those, though. That's a good one. Yeah. That's okay. I guess you can count before the coffee gets cold. Kind of a magical realism. Yeah. That's a good that one. Was really good. That's a good one. Romance. I'm What's guessing. yours? Favorite, yours truly. Love theoretically. I have really enjoyed uh, Chloe Lisa's newest release, which is not Better Hate Than Never. Better mm -hmm. Hate Than Never? Whichever. Mm -hmm. The shots are hitting everybody. It's the, <laughs> it's the one <laughs> Ziggy from the Bergman brothers. That's probably been like my favorite romance, I think. But I have really enjoyed From Lukov with Love, which is oh, a yeah. Kindle Unlimited. That what one was super one? cute. Which one? Archer's voice. Archer's voice was also good. I think that has some good rep in it um, because he is mute, but it's not the best writing. So that's the mm. only thing. I think Mariana Zapata's writing is probably better. Definitely better. When I literally wrote like all of my favorite books from this year. That's so funny. A lot of them have been from Battle of the Books. I'll say that. A lot of them have been really good recommendations from Battle of the Books. Yeah, and then Kindle Unlimited. Crying in H Mart. You guys remember that one? Sinners Anonymous made it. I was like, hmm. I actually like that one. One of my favorites from Classic Clip this year. I almost was what I put for fave Kindle. Kindle? And I was like, no. No, not quite. It, it was good, but it wasn't the fave. You know what I mean? Emergency Contact, which was a patron TBR pick. I really like that one. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, you know, all the Battle of the Books, like I said. Anyway. Oh, I forgot about Ghost of Harford. I don't know what I would put that under. What genre mystery? that is. Yeah, mystery maybe. Something. But that's a very good book. Yeah. Patron recommended it. I think like my recommendations have been great this year. And I think it's because I've taken a chance and like reached out to people to like recommend me things. Oh, good. But, but yeah. Okay. And then the last one is final thoughts. Final thoughts and. I can't feel my tongue. Okay. Um, Currently, I'm feeling a little hazy. My eyes are feeling a little heavy. Yeah, I didn't count, and I think you're at what five? I'm at something. <laughs> this bottle's almost done. It wasn't at full when we started. It wasn't, but I am a lightweight. You so are. So there we go. That's why we're using soju and not vodka or something. I'd be, I'd be woo. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Black cherry, pretty good. Yeah, black cherry. Yeah, it's supposed to be maybe the worst one, but I guess it's not anymore. I don't know. I gotta try it. I think I did it the right way. If I started with it. It's kind of like how you do hot ones. You start low and then you go high, you know, and then it's not as bad. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah so what do you think overall like how do you feel like you did in the challenge and just like you know the sour candy realm i failed miserably <laughs> it was horrible times <laughs> <laughs> I think it was great. It's great. Yeah, I'm glad. Great you, I hope you guys enjoyed. This one will be forever the worst. Lemon, lemon, and watermelon. Lemon is like actually. I guess I didn't even eat cleaner. apple, so apple's the worst. Then lemon. Okay. And then apple, I, lemon, watermelon, blue, and then black cherry. Yeah, was the best. Worst to best. So that gives you kind of like a preview of the books that we've read this year. Our favorites, of course, we'll have like a broader wrap up favorites list at the end of the year. We'll have more of a grasp on all the books that we have read this year. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all we got. We would tag people, but everyone's already done this video. Yeah. Um, we're so yeah, we're here. We've Just done it. Yeah. Be with us. Yeah. Be with us in this despair thank you to all the creators who have contributed to this conglomerate of a video like i said everyone's going to be linked down below so please go ahead and check out their channels check out the original tags and everyone else that we mentioned in this video obviously they all influence everything that we do and that is why we are mentioning them on the internet and i think we did well yeah you know? steer towards more good books guys oh yeah please that is something that i want to leave you guys with if you can comment the answers to the ones that we couldn't answer. So like a standalone that we need to read, let us know. Because yeah. I truly was like, what am I going to be reading next year? I mean, yeah. th in this next, I gotta this. stop taking shots. Okay. <laughs> this next half of the year. Anyway, you know? yeah, that's We don't it. wanna waste our time. We don't, we wanna so. read quality, which I think we, we sort we, of, we, I have. We dabble in, I have read some pretty good books, but I haven't read a anything, dabble. you know. Yeah, mind blowing. Exactly. We're looking for mind blowing. So where is it? What is it? Yeah, let, let us know. know. And we just want to say thank you. Um, you know, check out our links down below. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of us. And until next time, bye. bye. Bum bum da 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 bum bum da.